comes to African American uh, uh, culture and the African American community, uh, I have a lot of hope because there is a tremendous amount of talent that exists within uh, young African American men and women. Uh, I am constantly uh, blown away and amazed by the level of uh, intelligence, uh, uh, academic acumen, drive uh, that uh, many of the young people here in this church uh, possess. Uh, and uh, I think that there is a lot that they can contribute uh, to the next generation uh, if they continue on the path that they're on. My fears, though, have to do with the fact that uh, for too many of us, opportunities do not exist. Uh, uh, and opportunities have been cut short by uh, uncontrollable aspects of their lives and, and in some cases aspects of their lives that they indulged in that were completely controllable. Uh, being young is, is, is a wonderful thing. It's also a frightening thing because uh, by virtue of the fact that you are young, you tend to make mistakes. Uh, uh, you tend to exercise poor judgment. You tend to think that you can do things uh, and get away with it or, or do things that are bold uh, that uh, will not have any consequences. And more often than not, uh, you're caught up in the consequences and the consequences prove to be overwhelming. Uh, too many of our young people uh, are trying to make quick dollars uh, by doing things that are illegal, immoral, risky. Uh, too many of our young people are caught up in environments uh, that have proven to be negative and they don't seem to find a way uh, to get out of those environments. They don't have adequate help, they don't have adequate guidance and counsel to get out of those negative environments. And the environment proves to be overwhelming and they're caught up in it uh, like a web and, and they're carried under. In many cases, uh, talented young African American people simply succumb to the environment and, and say, this is, this is my world and uh, I'm gonna navigate it as best I can for as long as I can. It's really troubling to me when I talk to young people uh, who don't expect to live to see 30. And uh, uh, that, that, that's a pretty hopeless way to live life, to expect to be gone by 30. As somebody who's about to turn 54, I really recognize now how young 30 is. And to see people uh, who don't have any real expectation of living to 30, let alone beyond, 30 is very troubling to me. And these are not stupid people. These are people who simply have not been given the same opportunities to achieve and to succeed that others have been given.